People often ask, why cowbells? My parents were progressive child psychologists. They used to say, every unique child needs a unique discipline. For me, that was being sent to the cow field for timeouts. What you're looking at here is an excellent sampling of all tones and all sizes. We've got the 21 Blackjack, the Court Martial, the Aztec Sunrise, Ludwig von Beethoven. They got a clapper, we call them clangers. They got no clapper, we call them bangers. Each cowbell is unique in its own personality. Some are happier, some are for sad times. My love with the cowbell took on a whole new level in high school. I formed a band called Four Jacks and a Jill. I was a phenom. By the age of 16, I was the most renowned cowbell specified percussionist in the United States of America's section where I live. I was an innovator. I was the first one to bring livestock into a live studio. After losing my studio gig, I decided to turn my passion into a business. MrCowbell.com is the number one cowbell-related site on the internet. It has a lot more hits than the other three. What do I do for Fletcher? What don't I do for Fletcher? <laughs> morning Fletcher, here's your coffee. I make his breakfast. I print out his morning paper. I deposit checks, sharp edges. I find and print coupons. Cutching. I locate various cowbell hotspots around the globe. I wash his cars, except for the Miata. I print out his travel itineraries, his boarding passes, and I organize his Skittles by color. You know, I don't think there's anything I wouldn't do for Fletcher if he asked me. I travel the world looking for rare and unusual specimens. As part of my business, I have Cowbell Wanted posters I post anywhere I go. Chase simply preps the files and sends them off to a kiosk, where I simply pick them up, post them all around town, and wait for the cowbells to start rolling in. But lately I found it very convenient to do an internet-based image search right from my printer. Look at you. The best use of my personal time is finding those cowbells in the field. My number one priority? Oh, wow. Adding that cowbell to my collection. How much is this one? That one's not for sale. Do you mind if I take pictures of it? Now sometimes, understandably, people aren't willing to part with their bells. In that case, I simply send it to the cloud where Chase can download it and add it to the scrapbook. Say he finds a Vienna Habsburg. He'll be able to send me a photo and I'll be able to catalog it right away. Once I cut this out with the scallop scissors, I will file it in the scrapbook and uh, move on to the next one. It's just me and the uh, HP, just kicking it at HQ. <laughs> He really doesn't want me leaving this room. I met Mary when I was playing a gig and I was on stage and I looked out into the audience and I saw the most beautiful creature and standing next to her was Mary. I think Fletcher is more passionate than he is romantic. Hold it just like a child. Mm -hmm. Now beat it with the stick. I think Romance can sometimes be a diversion, and his focus needs to be on cowbells. I'll get up in the middle of the night, like, because I sleep, I, we're a modern couple, I'll sleep on his couch. Um, when I get up, he's looking at photos of, of bells, which is fine. He knew them before he knew me, right? So, you know, I gotta compete with that. So am I jealous? No. Right, uh, April 8th, 2000, a day that will live in infamy. Um, it was the famous SNL skit, uh, the more cowbell. Hey, wait, wait! Stop. Um, Bruce, could you come in here for a second, please? That, that was gonna be a great track, but I could have used a little more cowbell. <laughs> more cowbell.
When those two words became part of America's lexicon, so did two other words, Fletcher Billingsley. I think it's completely true that Will Ferrell ripped off Fletcher. Fletcher's high school yearbook quote was more cowbell. Christopher Walken doesn't actually know cowbells. He's an actor. I'm real. Since then, it has been a whole new world, if I may quote Aladdin. MrCowbell.com blew up. Everyone wanted more cowbell. Babies, before we're done here, y'all be wearing gold-plated diapers. To the king of cowbell, you're wearing gold-plated diapers. Chris Walken. I still don't know what that means. Well, if Will Ferrell was here right now, um, I, would, I, would, I would kiss that cowbell. <laughs> it's paved the way for us. It really has. I don't know if he'd bring it, but I would, uh, I would ask to see it, and then I would kiss it. Another sweet little technology? I can convert photos into 3D. Help me just boom, pop that cowbell off the page. 3D. 3D. More like three double D. Those udders. <laughs> Wrong crowd. Wrong crowd. Fletcher's absolutely brilliant. I mean, ideas come out of him faster than, than pages come out of this printer. The kingdom of cowbells. This is it. It's not a fantasy land like Euro Disney or Portugal. To be honest with you, I've never designed an amusement park before, but you know, Gievel Keneal never jumped across that canyon until he left the edge. It's a real piece of Americana, like Graceland or Dollywood, only less plastic and more cowbell. I'm an architect. Okay, I'm not an architect, but I am Google SketchUp Pro certified. Cowbells have never been bigger. So big, in fact, I'm developing a Mr. Cowbell cartoon show. It still needs some refinement. You know, I really think that people have garnered a new appreciation for cowbells. Um, you, can, you can chalk it up to April 8th, 2000. We can also chalk it up to the tireless efforts of Fletcher. The people, the tools, the technology, the cowbells, allow me to bring my dream to the world. I'm Fletcher Billingsley, the king of cowbell.